What is up guys and gals? Welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy S21. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to set up the alarm and some of the alarm settings and features on the Galaxy S21. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is look for the clock app. It looks like this. Once you have found it, we will go right into it. And we have our first alarm that is kind of preset. Um, if you don't have one, You'll just want to hit that plus button. And before we go there, you're going to want to make sure that you are set on alarm. If you open your clock tab and it's set to, like, let's say stopwatch or one of these other ones, you will want to switch over to alarm. We'll want to do that first. And then next, we will want to modify the alarm. If you already have an alarm like this, you can just press on it to modify it. If not, we're going to be using this little plus button to add an alarm. So if you don't have this, this portion right here, go ahead and hit that plus button. Since I have it, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the alarm that's already existing. So the first thing I'm going to go over is on top here, we do have the hour and the minute for the alarm. We have the AM, PM, whatever you want to set it at. Uh, the next thing, once you have your time set, the next thing down here is a uh, week. So let's say you work, you're going to set this as your uh, alarm for waking up for work. And you work Monday through Friday, you can go ahead and select all those days. So every day of the week, Monday through Friday, your alarm will be going off at 8.49 p.m. for work or whatever you want to name the alarm. So let's say it is work and we just want to type in work. That way we know that it is going to be an alarm for work. Um, next, we're going to be looking at this alarm sound. So we can go ahead and select that. And you can use Spotify, but I'm just going to be using the uh, ringtone, the stuff that is already preset on the device. So whatever you want to set it to, you just select it, whatever sound you want. And um, there's an option down here that says read time and alarm name allowed. So if you set your work alarm, it'll tell you the time and then it'll tell you work alarm. If you leave it blank, it'll just tell you the time. So if you want that, you can go ahead and select it and you can go from there. Just the volume of the alarm. So once we have that set, we're good to go. Our, our name of the alarm or the ringtone of the alarm has changed. Our volume, we can control how loud it will be. Um, go ahead and hit back. Next is the vibration. Um, the first one is the basic call. So the vibration is almost like a ringtone, but it's just vibrating instead of making um, any kind of noise. So let's say if you, if you didn't want it, you can go ahead and just deselect it altogether. Or if you didn't want the ringtone, you can, you can turn that ringtone off and have it just vibrate. And these vibrations have their own little um, pul pulsation or their own little vibration. You guys might have been able to hear I was trying to vibrate it off the table just to kind of give you guys an idea of what some of those sound like. So you can select one of those. And then the last option down here is the snooze option. Um, we do have snooze. You can have it either on or off. So if you have it off, your alarm goes off once, it's done. It will not be going off again. If it's for something to wake you up and you're a heavy sleeper or somebody that likes to sleep in, you know, you might want to have that snooze on. And then it gives us inter intervals for 5, 10, 15, or 30 minute intervals. 5 being the shortest. There's no way to customize it to make it like 3 or 8 or anything like that. This is kind of preset and what you're given. So then since our snooze is on, it gives us the option, how many times do we want it to repeat? So if we set it to 3 times, alarm goes off once. You hit snooze, it goes off the second time. You hit snooze, it goes off the third time. You hit snooze, it will not be going off any time after that. So same thing with 5, it'll go, it'll hit snooze 5 times. And then it'll stop ringing, it'll stop going off. If you hit forever, it pretty much goes until you swipe it and tell it, hey, dismiss this alarm, I'm good. Um, so you can, that's the one I usually go with. So that is the setting for that. And now we've went through all of these, we can go ahead and select save. So let's just say you already have an alarm set, but you have to get up at a random day and you have to set another alarm. All we're going to want to do is hit this plus button. So once we're here in this plus button, and let's say 6 a.m. on a Wednesday, we need to get up for... You know whatever it is and you can type in whatever it is you're getting up for um so now that's in there and you set all everything else like we just had gone through you have all that set and you hit save you know let's say it's like a doctor's appointment on wednesday whatever it is or you got to go to work early whatever the case is you can set it and it's just a one day thing it'll go off um on to, on wednesday um every day on wednesday until you turn it off so let's say uh, for whatever reason you don't have work for the week and you want to just deselect your alarms by turning them off like that it pretty much turns them off and they will not go off that week so let's say turn both these alarms off they're not going off your week of vacation is over and then boom you got to get back to work and you turn on your alarms again let's just say you have an alarm that you will no longer need you change your job or whatever the case is you don't need this alarm anymore um, all you're going to want to do is hit these three dots over here go ahead select that and from here we're able to hit delete 
And from the delete menu, we can go ahead and select, you know, if you want just one of the alarms off or if you want both of your alarms off. And then once you have that set, you go ahead, hit the trash can button. And just like that, it removes all of your alarms and they will no longer be going off. So that's how you turn on and off your alarm on the Samsung Galaxy S21. And some of the major uh, features, settings on the alarm. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you know anybody looking for this information, please do share it with them. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.